Hi, everyone. I would like to welcome ACS members to the American College of Surgeons Engaging the Resident Member Series. I'm an endocrine surgeon at UW Health at Swedish American Hospital in Rockford, Illinois. Um, and I've been a member of the Education Committee of the Resident and Associate Society, otherwise known as RAS, um, since I was a PGY2 at Tulane doing my surgery residency. I'm now an Associate Fellow member of the American College of Surgeons. Um, RAS has developed this interview series to spotlight engagement activities from several ACS chapters. The goal of this discussion is to help promote activities that chapters have developed and share um, between um, chapters of all different sizes and geographic locations. Um, so let's begin. Joining me today is Lacey Clayton from the Florida chapter. Um, let's start by having you tell us a little bit about yourself and um, perhaps how you got involved in this endeavor. Hi, yeah, my name is Lacey. I'm currently the membership manager for the Florida chapter. So I do all things membership, everything that, but I also do some of our special projects and our engagement opportunities specifically for residents. And those being our surgical Olympics, resident jeopardy, um, I help with our paper competition, things like that as well. I've been with the Florida chapter three years now and I really enjoy working with you guys. Great. Um, it's really nice to have everyone who seems as enthusiastic as you that's helping um, really improve resident education and um, involvement within the chapter. So um, first, uh, we'll begin with how big is your chapter and, and how do you um, get resident involvement within your chapter? So our chapter floats between 500 and 550 members, and we usually have around 150 resident members, and we've had really good luck working directly with the residency programs within the state. So a lot of our residency programs enroll their members as a group. And so I work directly with those program coordinators to get all of their residents enrolled. That way, we also have a very engaged resident population in Florida. So it's a very big word of mouth thing. A lot of our residents, if their group doesn't automatically enroll them, they'll come to us without a problem. Um, all of our residency programs in the state are engaged in the chapter. That's really awesome to hear, um, and congratulations on that. Um, so I hear you have a pretty successful uh, Surgical Jeopardy program that um, you guys do in your chapter. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so every year during our annual meeting, we hold our Surgical Jeopardy competition. Um, we have our moderator, and we ask our teams to sign up ahead of time so we kind of have an idea of who is participating. We do teams of two. So that whatever team wins goes on and we submit them for ACS Clinical Congress. And we encourage all of the residency programs within the state to participate. So it, like I said, it's an hour set during our annual meeting program. We encourage faculty to join. We encourage all attendees to join, things like that. It is CME accredited as part of our annual meeting program. And it's just really fun. Everyone gets engaged. Um, we've had disputes over some of the answers before. <laughs> Everyone, like I said, really enjoys it. And it's nice to see the residents and the faculty both get engaged with the same program. So you mentioned a lot of really great things um, in terms of getting um, participation from the different residency programs. Um, how do you um, solicit that participation? Do you just send emails out? Do you use social media? We do a combination of all of that. We'll do targeted emails to our residents about everything that is resident focused at the annual meeting. Um, we'll also send out flyers directly to our program coordinators at our residency programs. We have a RAS committee within our chapter that does outreach as well. We'll post specific social media about the different resident programs specifically and each competition that is available to them. Um, so different things like that. And then we also will email our program directors directly encouraging them to get their residents to sign up. And you mentioned that it seems like everyone really gets engaged in this program, the residents like it, and there's a lot of attending participation as well. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of actually developing the Jeopardy program, um, who coordinates that? And are, is there involvement from um, different um, surgeons from all programs? Developing the program, we use the ACS provided Jeopardy questions. So past that, we usually are, we have a surgical education committee within the chapter that will help us figure out who's going to moderate the session. Um, and that's really where most of our engagement comes from and preparing it and kind of planning everything. And then the rest of it's on a staff aspect. So getting programs signed up and making sure we have enough teams, things like that are all from a staff side. What do you guys um, use in terms of um, the buzzers um, when different teams are um, trying to respond to a question? Do you have your own system or do you use the ACS system? We use the ACS system. We really like them. They work great. Um, I usually will get our, our staff to test them before the meeting and even like we'll get into it as a staff testing all, but no, they're ACS ones work great. <laughs> they're great. a great resource. Great, good to hear. So in terms of getting this program together, um, it, 
since you use a lot of the ACS resources as well as um, time by your staff and different um, uh, programs in the state that is helping kind of look at the questions and make sure everything looks okay. Um, is it just time or do you need to develop a budget in terms of putting on the program? So we have a small budget. Um, we do a lovely trophy every year. So <laughs> lovely. I'm sure, I'm sure the residents love to have that. I was told to buy the largest trophy I could. So we have a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a perpetual trophy. So every year we add the winning teams onto it. I need to add in 2020. But most of our budget is for that or it's incorporated into our annual meeting budget. But outside of that, we don't really have a specific um, surgical or surgical jeopardy budget allocated for this program. Like I said, for the trophy, I kind of pulled from other membership funds that I had available, but it's really a low cost program to engage residents. For any other programs that um, perhaps of similar size or that might um, even have less members, do you have any um, suggestions about how they may get started um, putting on a Jeopardy program of their own? It's really easy. We found good luck even when we were first getting started and had less teams, um, even two to four teams work great. And it's really getting that program faculty engaged and a very personable moderator, someone who can kind of help push the program along. Think of normal Jeopardy, Alex Trebek was an amazing moderator mm -hmm. and kind of helped bring in the personality into the program. And we've really had good luck that way and getting, like I said, the program faculty to get involved too. They get just as competitive as the students. They wanna see their students win. So if you can engage that program faculty, they'll push their students to do it. Um, like I said, even two to four teams we've had good engagement with. Um, it doesn't have to be a large program. It can be something smaller. It doesn't have to, we like said, we allocate an hour to it. It doesn't have to be an hour. It can be less, but it's really just looking for that engagement. You did mention that in terms of your budget, um, that it's pretty much just the trophy. For those people who do win and you um, uh, help um, allow them to apply for the national uh, uh, Jeopardy competition, um, do you guys uh, give them any funding for that? We do not. Um, so we don't sponsor them to go to clinical Congress. It hasn't been in our budget in the past, but it is something we kind of keep an eye on year to year with budget. Um, but we do, like I said, submit them and give them that opportunity. And if their program needs anything from us saying that we've submitted them or why, what's going on, we'll help them that way. Um, but we have had good luck with the program sending the winners to um, clinical Congress each year. Great. Um, and in terms of your entire programming, when you have um, your chapter meeting, meeting, how would you say that um, the Jeopardy program um, is attended in comparison to the other events? It's attended very well. So we don't have any competing sessions when we do Jeopardy. It's its own standalone session. So everyone will move from the general session room into the Jeopardy room. We usually go right next door and I have everything set up. So it's usually a pretty smooth transition over and we have most of our attendees um, attend Surgical Jeopardy. Well, that all sounds really great. Any last suggestions or comments for any of the programs out there who are looking to start their own program? Like I said, just really use those ACS resources that are available to you. The question banks are great. There, I think there are three or four of them available now. Um, we'll cycle through them year to year, kind of just depending on what's out there. Um, the ACS buzzers work great. And it's like I said, it's an easy, low cost option to get your residents involved. And most people are competitive in a way, and this is just kind of a way to get people engaged and get people going and engaged in the meeting. You get bored listening to lectures after a while, and it's a way to break up that meeting and get residents engaged. And even if it's a standalone event, it's something easy that residents can prepare for and kind of test their knowledge and show, compete program to program within your state. And the program directors get into it too. Like I said, it's just, it's a really good, easy engagement opportunity for members. Well, that sounds amazing. I am so happy to hear that you've been so successful in um, bringing on the Surgical Jeopardy program and competition at your chapter. I am also very glad to hear that you've been able to successfully use the ACS resources and that they've been really successful for you. So I want to thank you so much for taking the time to um, share with me your experience um, so we can give that experience to the other chapters across the country. So hopefully they can develop a, a successful Surgical Jeopardy program as well. I think that you've developed a really great program that other chapters can emulate. So again, I thank you for your time and I wish you success in the future as well. Thank you. It was great talking to you today. You too.